What is going on, fellas? My name is Carson, and today I got a fantastic game of Siege for you. It's going to be some Kuze versus Sturgia, and I start out rocking the Nomads because they're cheap, and they have that Couch Lance, which is a really phenomenal option. Now, as this game progresses, I can eventually transition into Lancers, and well, I invite you to see the carnage that this thing caused. It was stupid. Yeah, you gotta watch out for them. They will uh, kill you very quickly. Frickin' raiders, man. The one time they can be good is because of that Kontos. Even then, the results are scuffed. I noticed, but it was way too late. I don't know how that hit me there. That was just unfortunate. How on earth did I just take no damage? That is something else, isn't it? Definitely could use some support on the siege engines. Let's get that guy's not lying whenever he said that earlier. Almost. That one stung a little bit. Get me out of the spikes. Do I have to clean everyone up that I see? These nomads are definitely nice to have. They got some, got some tankiness. Not too bad. At this point, I've now bagged up enough money to where I can start spamming a lot of Lancers, and trust me, it starts spiraling out of control very, very quickly. Just watch this drive real quick. Or I could die in one second as well. Many possibilities. Oh. 
Just die, dadgummit. Let it happen. Cool. Wow, that was uh, one of the fastest grounded deaths I have seen. That was actually insanely fast. Moments like this keep happening throughout the game. You know, you just keep trying to do some crazy thing. You start getting in the groove. You start schmoving a little bit. And then some guy hits you with the spear and then you die. But you know, when you're playing Lancers, you kill people in one hit, yes. But a lot of them with that spear or any kind of pike like that, they'll kill you in one hit as well. So. A lot of these lives are very, very fast. I'll get like five, six, seven kills in life and then die within 20 seconds. It's a really common theme you'll see throughout the video. So just keep that in mind. Another one. Another one. And I'm gonna block that. I, I, I needed to block low to stop that. <laughs> 29 kills like come on this thing is busted This is some jank. Ten damage. No damage. Yeah, now he's dead. As long as I swing early enough, it doesn't matter. Oh, no. Freaking 39 and 6 right now. This game, this unit is very fair and balanced. That's really all you can say at this point. Like, it, it, it's ridiculous. Just, you know, trample them and then blow out their kneecaps. At this point, I've do? realized there's a lot of enemies on the siege tower. I need to stop them now, or we're gonna have some problems in the late game. Stop moving. Okay. He's gonna die. There we go. I mean, we're not even like anywhere in this fight. We're already at these amount of kills. Can't even imagine what this is gonna be like. Unfortunately, I get shredded by that couch lance and I'm unable to hold the objective. I respawn as another lancer to see if I can regain my position I had earlier. It works pretty well. That is the last fight I want to take. These random cab fights are absolutely pointless.
That's a travesty. This death puts me at enough money to where I cannot buy a Lancer again. I could go rabble to guarantee I could get a Lancer next life, but I decided to go for a Nomad to try and get a few more kills because I'm greedy. I wanted to save up for the Lancer, but I just need to keep getting kills on the horse. It's free. So why not? 48 kills versus our next guy is 14. This game is something else. If I can get a heavy glaive, I will have a weapon. That's real enough. Give me that thing, give me that thing. Nice. Now I basically have the same thing, just a little bit worse armor. But, I mean, I, I, I can't complain. I got some sauce here. I can deal some serious damage. Wipe the side, boys. Let's go. After a hard-fought battle on the bridge, I can finally make my way into the castle for the first time. I'm blindly going around corners with this glaive in hopes of catching poor opponents like this guy off guard. Now that was just a travesty. What happened to that guy? <laughs> now it's time to farm some kills on some unsuspecting opponents. It's just obnoxious. Let's keep it up. I would consider going for F, but uh, I'm just gonna kill farm some more. Wait, you know... Wait, is there no one... Okay, no, we already took this point for some reason. Cool. That is a travesty. Oh well, I can just run a Lancer again because I have $326. Uh, that's not like it matters, right? After I respawn, I realized that I had completely forgotten about point B, which is on the outside of the castle and gives your team a really good spawning point if you can hold it for enough time. I make my way over there to see if I can cause some serious damage. So busted. I really need this point, don't we? It's quite important. At this point, I see my comrades to the left and to the right, armed to the teeth, all stocked with horses. I'm getting very confident that we're going to win this game. That could have been free. I screwed it up, though. Okay. I'll just start chopping on the ground. I'm not gonna die that easy. I got a little bit more life left in me. Not a whole lot, but some. 
moments like that are exactly why a good cavalry player is also a good hand-to-hand -hand combat fighter as well. You need to be able to take fights on the ground and survive, play scrappy, and eventually find another horse to get back into the fight. Yeah, you're dead. And if they ever mount a horse when I'm near them, they may as well just call it. I need to just keep holding B. Yeah, there's so many people pushing. I, I need to keep it up. Do I go up the tower? I'm gonna go up the Yeah, you know what? Just send it. Going up the tower. Finally taking B after a hard-fought battle, our team makes our way towards the final point. G, the stronghold. And this is where the Lancer is really going to shine. You're gonna see some crazy things coming up here soon. It's gonna be hectic. Exactly. To be honest. At this point, our team is falling apart, fighting each other in the chat, not formulating a good plan, not engaging properly. It's going to be up to me to try and carry our team to victory yet again. <laughs> All these guys. Uh, that's a fella down there, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Cool engagement. Now we finally get to see why keeping the siege tower alive in the early game was such an important objective. I can use the siege tower to go all the way from point B up to E in just a matter of seconds. It's a very important detail of the game that should not be overlooked. Unfortunately, before I can get to G, I need to wipe out quite a few rascals at E so our team can get a closer spawn and get into a better position. It's going to take a while to clear out all these berserkers. Don't gun me in the head. Stop. <laughs> Broke the hundred barrier. Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness. This game is just absolute degeneracy. What even can I do at this point? K. 
Okay. Oh, I actually got gutted out by that raider. The sad thing is, I'm getting this many kills. I'm running out of money. I'm literally running out of money. I have to get so many kills. I mean, I am spending a lot. So, like, it's not really a surprise that affordability comes into question. But it's not cheap. I can't afford it, man. No. Because the stronghold on this map is very close quarters, it's hard to keep up Lancer production due to the constant deaths. I need to play Rabble a couple of times to recuperate some of the funds I've lost. What the heck am I supposed to do with that? That was abrupt. <laughs> okay. A glaive? I All right, I guess I'll just run a horse anyways. I forgot, I can be anyone. Requirements are not very high. It'd just be a bit slow, but considering I'm in a hallway at point blank range, speed is not exactly a concern. Just gotta get in there. It's a great amount of health. Could work with that. Or not. Oh, whatever. I, I Apparently, yeah, I now have $284. I don't understand how I went up that much. I honestly still don't know where all that money came from. If somebody in the comments wants to tell me how that works, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks. I don't think I got any kills, even. Get in those gates. As we put the final few blows to the gate, our team prepares ourselves for the carnage that's about to come. Oh, the chaos. Go! Get chopping away, boys. We're getting in. <laughs> it's so dumb. I've never seen this many. What is? There's got to be some record for the most kills. Like, I don't even know. I'm probably not on it, but I'd like to think I am. I mean, this is just ridiculous. This is a clown record. Hey, listen, I never said that. Those are his words, not mine. <laughs> Just kidding. Now I said it. My bad. Why do I have this many kills? <laughs> and there's the end screenshot confirming that I did, in fact, get 125 kills in a single game. It's still crazy for me to think about the fact that I even got that many. Looking back at it, it's just insane. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to leave a follow on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash CarsonTheHillBilly. That's where all the live action happens, where the fun stuff like this really goes on. You get to see it happen in real time. It's fantastic. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.